do a little memorial service because we wanted to have it at the water. So it's at the Seven Rock Convention Center. So hopefully it's a good day where we could be out for 15 minutes or so near the water so we could either put a wreath or some flowers in the water in honor of James Kelly. And uh, so and then we want to just get together and enjoy ourselves as, you know, and keep our memories. We're going to have things up on the walls about the family through the years. And what do you know about James to the best of your ability? What do you know about him as he got on board that ship? The only thing we know is that he was always considered a laborer. So we don't know anything about jobs, what he was doing. We always were told at least they were very poor very poor and that's one of the reasons they decided they needed to come I guess to the US for another opportunity so um, that's about it don't you wish you knew what he was doing for two or three days before the Titanic hit the iceberg no absolutely absolutely I would love to know what type of personality he had because his wife Kate lived until her 90s, and there's just some great stories about her, that she was such a personality, she was just funny to talk with, and so I would love to have seen what his personality was and how it matched with hers, from what I understand with my relatives. And again, the hunt is on for a picture. Yep, we need a picture. <laughs> so, I recently touched base with somebody, James Durney, who's a historian, and leak slip in County Kildare and uh, you know he did some research but he couldn't really find anything he did find it he his wife actually went down to the mill lane where they lived and actually took a couple pictures of houses that were in that time frame of the 1910-1912 and they were basically according to the census they had two room house and there was and how many children there was seven children six that were living at home at that time because one was in the service so there was eight of them in the house for a two-room house <laughs> do you hope to build any kind of a foundation or just to have these reunions no we i think we want to move forward and at least make it part of something that can carry on you know like one of the things that frustrates us is seeing how some of the relics from the sinking, you know, from the boat itself were being sold, that really frustrates us because that's a grave site in our eyes. And it should be left as a grave site. There's nothing, I don't have a problem, although some of my relatives have problems about bringing up anything. I don't have a problem about bringing up some stuff from the boat, but I don't believe it should be sold. I think it could be in a museum type of exhibition, that's fine in my eyes, but to have it sold is just not right. <laughs>